Without looking at the speedometer? I, <laughs> I don't drive that often living in the city. Do you often bake without a timer? Do you I, drive I, without looking at the speedometer? I don't drive that often living in the city. Baking is not like making an omelet or cooking a steak where you touch it and you feel it. There's a science to this. I have my eye on the clock. I execute to the best of my ability. The actual crust is way better than the apples. The apples are way overcooked. Mm -hmm. The problem with this is it's more like a, an apple tart. Flat? Yeah, it's like a, where is the caramel? Look, there's nothing. There's no caramel, nothing. Where is it? This is not a tart tartan. This is an apple tart. The whole part of a, a tart tartan for me is that beautiful balance of having it caramelized and also having a little bite to it. This has gone the other way. It's very simple for me. It's a very good apple tart. It's a very poor apple tart tartan. Apologies. Thanks, Evan. Great job, right, Evan. <laughs> Fred, please bring up your tart tartan. Yes, Come on, Fred. Come on, Fred. Let's go. Let's go. Because I'm the only one in the room who's made a tart tartan before, the judges have much, much higher expectations of me. I definitely think if anything's gonna send me home, it's gonna be this dish. Describe the dish, please. For you, I have a ginger, vanilla, and cinnamon infused apple tart tartan with a brown butter and cardamom creme glaze. Well, obviously it's raw here, it's caramelized here, it's in balance, it's kind of structurally, it fell apart. That's not what we wanted. You were the only home cook that's made a tart tartan before, and I can't see that here. For me, it's applesauce. I don't like it at all. It's not the cake we wanted. I disagree. I like the flavor. You've got that right. Unfortunately, it doesn't look decent. Personally, I expected more from you tonight. I expected more from myself, Chess. Thank you. Good job, Fred. Good job, Fred. Same. Stand tall. Same. Focus. Excuse us as we needed a moment to discuss this very important matter. Thank you. I feel like I failed. After hearing the judges' critiques, I'm basically saying my goodbyes to everyone. I already am trying to envision what my life was before this competition because I'm expecting that I had to go back to it. Some standouts again, mm -hmm. without a doubt. It's, okay. just, it's just really deciding who was, was worse. I think it's pretty obvious who the, uh, the weakest one is, yeah? yeah. Ready? Yeah. All six of you, please make your way down to the front, thank you. Going home would literally be shocking. I don't want to go home. I want to live to tomorrow to be able to cook again. This one uh, was tough for us. Sarah and Katura, please step forward. Both of you girls struggled this evening. Nice to see that you could come back. In fact, the comeback was just enough to retain your white aprons. Go on upstairs. I was just saying prayers that they weren't going to send me home, and uh, I'm still here. The positive of this experience has been I've learned that it's OK to be vulnerable, but I don't ever want to see a black apron again. Suba, please step forward. Suba, to be very honest, I think you made some fundamental mistakes, but you continue to put your background into your dishes and we can taste it. We felt that it was just good enough for you to retain your age. Please head upstairs. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Fred, Sam, Evan, clearly uh, you three at the bottom of the barrel. Um, Fred, I lack lust performance, especially when the only one in the room this evening had done this before. Sam, you know, the crust was delicious, but it was literally swimming in water. Evan, you didn't put your spin on it. You completely changed the dish. This is a tough call. The person leaving MasterChef, not entering the top 16 of this incredible competition, is Evan. Fred, Sam, move it up to the balcony, quick. So sorry, Evan. It's all good. I am trying to learn, which I think is probably the one reason why they saved me over Evan. Evan, to become America's Next Master Chef, we need a incredible pupil. 
There's times across this competition that you have been so difficult about taking advice. Yeah, I think your knowledge and your love of food is apparent, Evan, and I hope you can take that with whatever you do in your food career, because I know it's going to be there. Thank you. Please place your apron on your bench. Good night. In the end, it doesn't matter. I still feel like my experience and my knowledge base means I was the best chef in this competition. This is not the end of my culinary journey. This is just the beginning. Potato, do potato.